Things have really changed over the years here at Burke Strauss and uh, we keep getting new people, visitors, and we're actually growing where so many congregations are, you know, declining. Um, I'm Chris Kramer. And I'm BJ Kramer. Um, we've been here about nine months now? Yeah, about nine months. So journey and community is, is important here at Bergstrasse. And um, it began actually for me when I was interviewed because they said, we want a pastor who's gonna be in the community, who's going to make us seen and make us visible again. I wasn't sure what that meant, but for me, it meant just showing up in different places. We were in Lidditz for Lidditz Chooses Love and Pastor Jim came to speak at the event. And he's like, you're more than welcome to come. That was on Saturday. Sunday, I showed up. The moment I walked in the door, I could feel the love. I was the only faith leader who was invited to speak at this Pride event. When I got up to speak, I just started by saying, I'm a person. I'm a son, I'm a brother, I'm an uncle, I'm a father, I'm a grandfather. I plan special events, I like to cook, I like to garden, and oh, by the way, I'm gay. We hadn't been to a church in years. years. You know, it, it, we had been hurt by so many churches, and so it was hard to believe that there was a church out there that when I walked in the door, wouldn't be like, who's this? Like, but they showed love right away. And I don't think we've missed a Sunday since we started coming. When I first arrived um, three years ago, 10 minutes before worship, everyone is sitting in the pew, just like all quiet 10 minutes before quiet and just looking around. I walk in and it's like, he's here. Today, we now worship about 45 people who now, I can't get them quiet to start worship. It's just that kind of transformation that has happened and it just wasn't overnight. It's been over three years. We have a tendency to hang around before church starts out in the, you know, and seeing new people come in and talking to them. It's just been great meeting people and we probably are the last people to come in the sanctuary. <laughs> yes, we do enjoy talking to people as they come in and we found that many of them are on a journey. We arrived and we were no sooner in the door when someone greeted us and told us their name and just sort of gave us a, a very brief tour. We just felt really welcome. And after the service was over and we walked to the car, we looked at each other and said, this is the church. Something just moved us during that particular Sunday. And we've been here ever since. As a community church, it's important for us to be in the community but it's also important us to welcome new people into this community. And one of the things that we're coming up with is an understanding is that we welcome all people seeking a relationship with God, period. God has changed us so much. We went from a place where I had said I would never join a church ever again. There was so much hurt, so much pain, and God has, through Bergstrasse, shown us this so much love and I was able to let go of that and become a member of a church. It was just so different here and it's really it's really hard to put it into words really it's it's not a it's 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 not a, a word thing you describe it's just the overall feeling and it's for me I mean <laughs> it's it's different it's different Eight months straight, Sunday mornings, we've had at least one new visitor every week. Do they all stay? No. Do some come back? 
yes. Our hope is that when they were here, they knew that they were loved and that they were cared for. And that's what they will carry on to someone else, that they were known, that they were seen, that they were heard, that they are respected.